I found as many DMZ key locations in Warzone 2.0 as humanly possible and there are timestamps for all keys, so you're probably going to want to bookmark this video to come back to later. If you're just here for a specific key, you can check the description and click on the timestamp to find it. But first I wanted to show off some gameplay showing the best strategy to get as many keys as possible in a short time because keys are the best way to get the best loot and hidden gear. There are basically two different key types in Warzone DMZ. You have point of interest keys, these have unique symbols and can be spotted on the map easily. And you have hidden stash keys, most of which just have a single coordinate and you have to go find it in the world. Some keys from both types are golden, which signifies they have even better loot. So how do you go about getting keys? The best way I've found is to get a key for the post office and open it, fight all the AI there and loot the mailing boxes. i found this is an excellent way to leave the game with five to six keys every time, most of which are golden tier. Actually, every AI has a chance to drop a key, but the higher level they are, or the more health they take to kill basically, the higher your chance to get a key. Now I think the post office is a great place to go, but if you don't have that key, you can get lucky and buy it from the buy station. Each game a random point of interest key will be available for 30k, so loot everything, especially computers for the chance of encrypted hard drives for 5k and GPUs for 8k, and you'll have that money in no time. You can also do HVT contracts, these often drop keys, so you'll be getting extra keys whilst you try to get the post office key. In the post office, it's very close quarters, so I'd suggest bringing a bunch of plates, stims and and a shotgun too. I'll play my gameplay here so you can see how it went and how I dealt with the AI and how much keys I got from the AI and how much I got from looting the building. And remember, all the timestamps for each key location is in the description after the gameplay. Shopping center key, okay. Another key. Close that door a minute. This embassy key. Yeah, that's not fun. Alright, anyway, let's get back to here. This is what I was looking at, dude. Okay, mail kiosk. Of a woman. Jesus, bro. Scared me. I love their flashbangs in here, I'm telling you now. Take all the armor plates I can. Is that a better shotgun? Yes it is. Okay, brilliant. Two keys, dude. Holy moly. How many keys I have? That Lockwood MK2. I think we're good. Helicopter upstairs. Elevator. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh yes. I haven't unlocked it yet, so taking it. Wow, we only have three minutes left. Downtown post office secure room. So that seems like the uh, thing we really need. But we came out with a bunch of keys, so that's crazy. Let's play here. So, G4, Mazawa, Mawaza Power Control Substation is right here. Here's the location of the map, G4, this tiny little building. Uh, pretty small, but you get, you know, one little thing uh, here, some cash, and one supply box, three plate armor pass, got a, a weapon in there, we can stow that. All right, so for the North Canal's info booth key, it is in F2, Almazra City. You'll see this little building here, this here. 
that's all it is. North Canal's info booth, this DMZ key right here. So the C87 editorial department key for DMC is in this building here in F2. You gotta go to the elevator here, go straight up and you'll find the key at the top. So you'll see the building here, that right at the corner. The entrance is right here. Once you're sent up, you'll see right here. C87 editorial department key location, right here. For the algae cover toolbox key, what you need to do is head to this bridge here, and you'll actually find it in this river right here in F3. Look at this spot on the map, and you'll know where it is. If you jump down right about here, Swim along a little bit. There's the ladder for reference. There's the toolbox. Here's the exact spot on the map right here. For the canal apartment 103 DMZ key, you need to be in F3 and you need to go to this building here. Okay, and as you can imagine, 103, it's floor one. All we need to do is go up the stairs and there it is on the ground floor. Sorry, I forgot this is an American game. <laughs> 103, right here. So for the Mauerza Resort Bungalow Room Key, there's like six buildings here in F5 on this small island. It's actually in this building here. And what you'll need to do is go on the inside of this building. So you can go this way. And the room is on the interior here, right here. So that's the Mauerza Resort Bungalow Room Key for DMZ, right here. All right, I'm down, but the El Safra Stone Block Office Key is right here. Uh, you can see it right here, C4. If you're looking for the Far Southeastern Storage Closet Key, it's in this building here on H5, right next to the Ammo Depot on the main road. It's right there. All right, if you're looking for the Airport Maintenance Key, you'll find it here in H6, right on this side of the building, so the north side of the building. If you just come in here, you'll see it right here. So this is the key location for airport maintenance. All right, if you're looking for the ABF Antiques key, all you gotta do is go up into this spot here. So the ABF Antiques key is in Albagra Fortress. It's this door right here in G8. Uh, I got knocked again, but here it is. If you're looking for the Tarak River Supply Shack key, it's a building that doesn't actually appear on the map, but it is in E2 here. And you'll see it. It's just this tiny shack by the river. Tarak River Supply Shack key for DMZ. This is what it looks like on the map. Close look here. If you want to find the Tarak Smuggler's Office key, you find it in E2 here, right in the central building. It's right here. Here's a close look on the map. You can see it. Just this building right here by the bridge. If you're looking for the South Zaya Scientist Department key in DMZ, you need to go to this spot in E6, right on the big mountain here. And if you go inside, I'll we'll be able to find it for you. So you just got to go upstairs here, and you will find the scientist key up here. This here, South Zaya Scientist Apartment Key E6 on this mountain. If you're looking for the Central Zaya Meeting Room Key, it's an E6 at the top of this mountain in the Zaya Observatory. If you go downstairs, you'll find it here, right? Right on the bottom floor, looking north, right? This is where you'll find it. Right, if you're looking for the East Seaside Groundskeeper Building, it's right here in E7, just next to this island. So if you were to look northwest, this is what you'd see on your map here. This is the building right here. If you're looking Order for the one, captain's cache toolbox up, key to on point. DMZ, you'll be able to find it at E8 uh, on this little shipwreck. If you go down to this floor here, sort of up here, it's like the middle floor. And if you go in here, there'll be this little box here. This is what it is. If you're looking for the deckhand's toolbox key, be warned, it's a little far in the back here, so be ready to swim. Uh, you don't have long, but essentially, if you go here, you see this door? So we're on E8 at this broken shipwreck. You see this door here, you want to quickly swim down here, turn left, and then here is the toolbox, deckhand's toolbox key. You have just enough time to loot it, so don't worry, but just make sure you follow this route so you don't mess it up. If you're looking for the Sawa Hotel Room 302 or Room 303 key, you need to go to this building here in Sawa Village. It is in D7, this building here. As you can imagine by the name, it is on the third floor. So you're going to need to deal with some people here. Elevator does actually work though, so you can go straight upstairs. So you go straight up here and there's the two rooms, 303 and 302 for DMZ right here.
If you're looking for the Groundskeeper Caretaker's Toolbox key in DMZ, it's in D7. This one is a nightmare to find. If you, It's really easy to get lost here, basically. But here it is. Oh my god, what are you doing? The best way to explain where it is, is it's by this building here, facing north. And the bus is there. Just find the green bus. Once you found the green bus, just go very slightly east towards this building here on the map is just a square and then you'll find it right here uh, and that's where it is if you're looking for the caretaker's house key it's this building here in d7 uh it's just a straight up door the front entrance i'm not sure if we're going to be able to get here in time but yeah it's just this door this building right here pretty straightforward d7 our salmon cemetery this one right here if you're looking for the power substation toolbox key for dmz go to d7 right under the al salmon cemetery you'll find it at this large box on the map it's right next to this radio tower if you need any kind of landmark and here it is right here if you're looking for the south bank apartment key it's right here it's on not the top floor but just one down it's right here i got down again but it's right here south bank apartment key uh d6 just under the city here you'll find it on the map right here this is a nice little landmark on the mini map if you're confused just right here if you're looking for the yum yum burger backroom key go to almazra city it's g3 it's this building here quite a unique design right it's got like this spot here uh, this is where I'm looking. Look, north side of the map. You'll see it here, right next to the U.S. Embassy. So you can find that on the map very easily. Uh, go in this side, and the key is right here. This spot also has a million cash registers in as well. So really good spot to get a ton of cash. If you're looking for the C87 Secure Records room key, come to the very north of El Masra City in G2. You see these two buildings here and the roundabout, right? This is sort of the landmark you want to look for. It's this building right here. Come inside and it's right here. If you're looking for the under freeway east warehouse key, it's a little confusing because it doesn't tell you the exact coordinates, but it's in G4, just to the side of this bridge here. So if you follow the river and look for this bridge, and then you'll see this tiny little square, it's a tiny building like this. If you're looking for the BC toolbox key, you'll find it in G6. It's at this point in the building. So you see these little colored squares here. This one here, this dark colored one, this is where you're going to be able to find it in this little baggage room. Pretty straightforward. If you're trying to find the traveler's luggage key, first come to the airport right at this side of the map. It's in about G7, G6, and you're looking for this spot facing towards the airport. So if you go up here, You'll be able to walk up to this spot and you'll be able to find it right here. Looking for the South Albagra top floor bedroom key in DMZ. It is on the Albagra Fortress Island in the G8 section. It's this long building here. Just got to keep going up the staircase in the middle. This is the roof. So it's this floor here, second down from the roof. And here it is. If you're looking for the El Bagra Officer Quarters key, you can make your way into this side of the building and then you sort of just got to run up here and you'll find it. If you're looking for the old Lighthouse Citadel key, it's super straightforward. On F8, you have this very small island. You go straight inside and the door is right here. If you're looking for the Longshore Duffel Bag key, it is in B6 at this point here in DMC. You can climb up to here and it's just right on the edge. Nice and simple key for this spot. If you're looking for the Hafid Ship Bridge Cash Key, you'll find it right at the very top of the bridge. You've got to go up a bunch of stairs, a bunch of AI in here. It's in B6, right at the left side of the map. You will find it right here. If you're looking for the Hafid Ship First Mate Cash Key, you've got to climb up to the uh, very top, right? Let's say you're the very top of the bridge, B6, right at the left side of the map very top of the ship then go down one floor and you'll actually find it right here in this large open room if you're looking for the quarry workers lost toolbox come to El Safwa quarry in b3 and come to sort of like the very north point you'll see a big pool of water here uh this is sort of what you see in the surroundings and you can see it right here here's the toolbox if you're looking for the crane control room key in DMZ, then you'll be able to find it right here in B3, this very small square box. A big crane, right? Big crane. Very simple to spot. You don't need to waste your key if you don't want to. You can see what loot's inside. 
uh, straight from here. If you want to find the Rohan Oil Self Guard Shack Key, it's literally just this tiny little shack here in the oil area in D3. The zone's coming in for this one, so I can't really show you if I was going to just die. But yeah, right here. Right there, you see it? That tiny little shack. Very straightforward. If you're looking for the Cavern Dock Boat Key location, it's actually about here, but underneath the map. And you need to go into a cave system. I'll show you the best route to take and the safest route right here. So the most important thing is you want to pull up to this set of houses here. Once you're here, you'll see there's an option to go this way. This place is also stacked with loot. You make your way down here. Now right there, where all these guards are, that's the cavern dock. Now I came in here with no gun, because I just wanted to show you guys. So I might die here, but I'll try and get there. So here it is. On the map, there are POI locations already for the police academy, the post office, the US Embassy, the control tower, the warehouse, the construction warehouse, the shopping mall, and a few other locations. If you see a key that has a little square with like a building in it or an icon, then you just need to find the corresponding icon on the map. It's very straightforward. If you're looking for the Mauser Slum discarded cash key in DMZ, it's right here. Right, see this little spot under the bridge in uh, about F4. If you see here, there's this little island here with a bunch of small squares on. Just under this bridge, if you go up here, it's right at this spot. The Mauser Sow Shop key is over here it's this building right here in f4 so if you go this way you see this bridge here and you make your way up to here it's not this one it's not this one it's this one here okay closer to these two little islands this one here if you're looking for the bank of adele second story key or the bank of adele top story office key they're both in this building here in the sour village down at the bottom of the map the ihtaq warehouse key is in this building here it's right about here it is in the Hafid port at C6. So if you're looking for that, just come here. It's pretty straightforward. The Central Saeed top floor apartment key is actually in this building here. This kind of very small one. Obviously, just go to this top floor and you'll find it up there. The Rohan control room locker key is over here. Now, this isn't a door or a toolbox. It's actually one of those stand-up lockers, the really thin ones. And it's right about here on the bottom floor. If I missed any keys, let me know in the comments and I'll make a part two. Cheerio!